good afternoon and I hope you've had an excellent day and an excellent week. Now we're at the end of the week so this will be the last stream until Monday night but tonight we'll be continuing on with the fantasy creatures and tonight is the... I will be drawing a Kelpie. Now a Kelpie, there's many different versions of a Kelpie um, so you've got the Kelpie that has a fish tail, and we've got a Kelpie that is just, looks like a normal horse. Now there's different myths and legends going around all this horse. So, there's a legend of the Kelpie being much like a mermaid, so a beautiful creature that lures people to the depths of the ocean and drowns them. But there are also other ones, like I've seen a movie about a Kelpie who, instead of being a sea creature, is just an, a horse that, when, they, when a person jumps on the back, it takes them to another world. Which is quite an interesting story. But yeah, um, well, I'll, I think, we'll go for a mix of the two. So... There's the Kelpie, there's a couple things that I've seen. So there's a Kelpie with the mermaid tail and lots of fins, like frills and stuff, much like you'd see on a sea serpent or a dragon. And then there's the, just the plain horse, well not plain, but a horse with like a seaweed mane sort of thing. And then like, or just dripping wet, so it's not like flowing everywhere sort of thing. So, um, I'll see how we go. So, I, I drew a Kelpie once a little while ago, and it was pretty alright. Uh, let's see what we can do with it today. Alright, so I'll start with the head. So, generic horse head. So, circle, we'll start with the circle. Always the circles. And the line and where the muzzle would go. Quite close for a horse. Um, and then, all right, so, I think I'll give it a tail, but instead of being in the water, I'll have it like sitting on something like, kind of like a mermaid, like it's sitting on its own tail. That would look quite interesting. All right, so, the horse would go down. And then that would be its chest, and it would come out to its back legs, which would actually be the tail. And then the tail would come in like that, much like a mermaid. Alright, and then once we've done that, I'm going to grab the opacity, chuck it down, put another layer up. And then start doing in a little bit more of the details. So I'm just going to bring over a picture of a Kelpie that I'm looking at. That's quite interesting and would help with the shape of the horse. Just so you can see what I'm looking at. So we've got this guy here. Now I'm just going to go in with that head shape so it goes down and into the nose and their mouths are quite pointed down see like there's like a line in there now I'm gonna keep my dude's mouth closed just to have him look quite peacefulish even though he's in it a scary ass creature that could drag you to the depths of the ocean much like a mermaid I mean when you think about it Kelpies are their own creatures, right? Why not? Why wouldn't a mermaid have a kelpie as a pet? I mean, I don't know too much about mythology. I just love it, the creatures of it. But like, that'd be so cool if like a mermaid had a pet kelpie. All right, just doing the shapes of those feet. I'm gonna have the feet pretty hidden behind the actual tail in a moment so we'll just come in just following the shapes around 
as if it was a horse at the moment and then changing it up. once you get to the back back side we'll just bring it out like a normal tail just for the moment like a little like a dragon's tail just like that and then flesh out these arms a little bit more so we've got the shoulders and then the arm piece the roundness of the oh sorry the the elbow knee and then goes down into the foot behind the tail all right so we've got our rough rough horse guide sort of thing now i'm going to hide that layer and then lower this layer now next thing i'm going to do is do his ears so the ears generally come up from about there Oh, we need a new layer first. Nice and little pointy kind of e sort of ears there. Now I'm going to try and go for the wet look, like in the the draw in the picture. And so normally you'd make it all fluffy, you know, the hair will come out like sort of this sort of thing, you know. But for wet hair, you just kind of have it like it's sticking to the body of the creature. So just like it is in that picture. So we'll come in. And come down. So it'll be sticking in clumps. Perhaps with some holes. You know, there's just pieces sticking. Like that. all down in quite flat would be the word for it the kelpie's hair because it's wet would be quite flat maybe a few pieces that are up and then anything that was kind of like you know, not sticking would just hang straight down because the wetness of that of the hair would just force the hair to go straight down at earth like that. So I've got a nice start sketch. Now I'm going to make this a bit more pointed. ears like that and then there would be just a really warm about the eye for the moment and I'm grabbing this nostril now because this tail isn't going to be just wet hair it's going to be frilled I'll start with the frill say about uh, here-ish now I do this because you know you don't want to have frills just starting out of nowhere and if your your creature's going to have frills it would the frills would probably start up small and then go big as they come round like this and because that he the horse is sitting down the frills would kind of go flat like that all right now, Kelpies are pretty dangerous, so I'm going to give them slight spurs on their frills, on his frills, like so, like this. Alright, now I'm going to start from this little piece here I've got and just go up, just so in essence, these these frills help the horse swim, so like a fish. Uh. All right, there we go. So going in like this. Quite folded once it gets on top because the horse isn't going to be like, you know, it's overlapped it on itself. I can make that tail a little bit thinner toward the end, like this. 
like so, and then come in with this foot, you know, finish that off. And have a little bit of a foot, I think, behind. Like it's holding him up, holding himself up. Like that. All right, and take this layer away. Oh, we forgot the neck. <laughs> Come in like this. Maybe add a bit more. Like that. All right, so we've got our nice little Kelpie, which is looking all right. I might. What I might do is also add another set of frills here, just on the tail in its own space. Like that. And another tiny little one here. So it goes onto the back like that. Alright, now, once I've done that, I'm gonna. Oops. Come back around, lower the opacity again, make a new layer, get a more inked up brush, and lower the size, and come in with some more detail and see how we go. So I'll often do more than one layer of sketching, more than one or two, depending on how good the picture comes along. So for this one, I'm just going to start with the hair, just because it'll be quite an interesting little thing to do to make it look wet just heaps of strings of hair maybe some stuck to the front of it like, like spider webbed out and much up here It's very, like, not loose, but like enough so it looks like it's really sticking, you know, like it's pieces have just stuck to the horse's body. Keep coming down. You know, like yourself, if you get wet hair, you know, your hair's going to be stuck all over your shoulders, maybe possibly in your face. You know, it's going to mould with the shape of the horse. Like that. And then when I draw in this part of his neck into his... That... <laughs> There's also going to be a bit up here, just splayed across the face. Maybe to frame the eye once I get into that part. Just some extra. And then the ears. Like that. And maybe some pieces that have just kind of stuck to the ears, you know. Frizzy, frizz pieces. Because she's not in the water, so she's not going to, like, her hair's not going to be completely flat, you know, or flowing or in one clump. It's just going to be pieces. And like that. And then our other little ear. And then down into the face. So I'm going to make this muzzle a little bit shorter. That and then into the mouth. Like that. Alright. Now I'm gonna zoom out because I'm feeling that's alright. I'm just gonna fix this neck piece so it flows much nicer. You know, try and keep the lines quite flowing when you do them. Like that. And then we'll have our pieces of hair that have kind of come down like this. Nice, just 
like it's hanging. I might add some water to it in a minute too, but just, just starting slow. So with the eye, I'm just going to start with a shape and then a circle. Now she, even though she's all messy and everything, she's got to kind of look a little bit welcoming because she's going to be like, you know, luring people that like horses. all the way into the ocean or into the other world sort of thing. All right. And once we've got that down, we'll come in and go more into our legs. Fix up anything there. Oops. Maybe add some strings coming down. like that and then continuing your belly around where the tail is and then come in do the knobs of those knees like that and then come around to this piece and just what I'm gonna do is also not quite fill in where the spikes are so, so the spike would be there so instead of just doing straight, you know, finishing lines, I'm only going to do a slight line, you know, to show that these fins are really part of her, you know. It's not like it's just an attachment, like it's something that's been just stuck onto her, like it's actually part of her body. Keep coming around. And this last one I'm also going to add a bit more exaggeration to before it hits tail. Oh, pardon me. This any extra lines, just take them out, and then I'll come in just to finish up this line all the way in front of all those feet. Like that. And then I'll finish up these ones over here so it comes out before I get into the actual fin part of things. that. There we go. Alright, so I'll zoom out and have a look at her. She's looking quite fine. I mean, her feet are a bit funny, but that's alright. And then come in and just add those, those frilly pieces. So they're going to be slightly folded because she's not in water, so it's not going to be flayed out like wings would. So we're going to just have them with a bit of a fold in them like that or you know add the the lines of crease in that like that to show that it's all creased up oops this one's like this I'm going to try and keep all the lines closed especially if you're going to use the paint bucket trick it makes life a little bit easier. I'll show you in a second. Whoop. Tiny bit of lag. Just give it, yep, there we go, we're all good. So then, what 
when we zoom out, we'll have this nice tail. Alright. Nice frilly little thing. I'll just quickly do one with this frill on her side here. You could also add frills to her ankles, which I'm not going to do with this one. You know, you could pretty much add frills to anywhere on the creature's body. I mean, as long as it makes sense in a way. I mean, it doesn't even have to make sense, I suppose. You could do it wherever you like, because it's your creature. But yes, I might though quickly pull this in a tad. There we go. I'll zoom out, I'm going to hide that other layer. So she's looking quite nice. Although I feel like she needs a little bit more hair coming down just to make it more of a sticky feel. Like, yeah, like there's more pieces coming around. Like that. Alright, so we've got our fairly clean lineup of our Kelpie. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to have a look at her and see what colour we could do. I reckon we could do her like a... Maybe a dark blue with some green. Which might look alright. So we'll come out. And I'll make a layer underneath that layer. Now, these are all sketch layers. So I'm going to dump them in a folder and name it sketch layer. Chuck all of those in there. We don't need those anymore. And then this is our lines and flats. So flats meaning flat colours, just plain colours, no gradients or nothing like that. Alright, so for our horse hair, we're going to have a nice grey blue. Alright, so because there's lots of broken lines, it's not going to work as well, quick, like quickly. So we'll just come in and fill in those lines when necessary. Because with the paint bucket tool, it doesn't always work properly. Like, not necessarily properly. Um, but um, when there's open lines, it'll just ink everything. But with the closed lines, it'll ink wherever the lines meet. But that's alright, because we want it a little bit messy anyways, that works for us. And there'll be strings of hair going around, you know. Just fill those in. Like so. And the hair that comes in the back. Just keep filling it in, you know. Change it up if you need to, but it all works nicely. Now, generally, this hair would most likely be a lot lighter colour if it was dry as well, because wet hair goes darker. And keep that in mind when you're doing a character or creature with wet hair. Think if you're making a character especially. If the hair is, like, say, a bright blue, what colour would it be if it's, you know, wet, maybe a more saturated blue, like a dark feel? Yeah. Feeling it, whoops. Random line alert happens all the time. And then you like finish your drawing and there's a random line somewhere and you have to flick through your layers and go, where on earth is this line coming from? It's crazy. Alright, that in there.
Yeah, I'm also working on, currently I'm redesigning some of my older characters. I did it ages and ages ago. Um, they're my sun and moon cat spirits, Ravi and Yamira. And like one of them represent, like one of their names, mean, uh, Ravi means sun, Yamira means moon. And originally I had Yamira white and Ravi black, but I found out with the yin and yang, the black side of the the um, yin and yang is actually the male, the female side, and the white is male. So I'm just redesigning them so it match, matches the the lore better. And just giving them a few more details about them and some more personality, I guess. That sort of thing. I will I can show you the workings of... I'm redesigning your mirror first, you know, one at a time. And she's looking really good. I've got it actually open already. I'll quickly... <laughs> so I've got it here, my little... Yeah, Mira. Usually she's white and blue, but I changed her to red and black because the um, yeah, as I was saying, the black side of the yin and yang is the color. And yeah, the green is just complementary to the red, and to see how it goes. So I'm still fiddling with it. Thank you. Yes. All right. Now underneath this one, I'm gonna just make another one because the hair is very finicky. Um, it'll be a lot harder to colour in the rest of it if I had it on the same layer. So then under the layer I can just, when you have a layer underneath you can just go in over the top and just make sure everything's, you know, any tiny places, spaces that are not quite coloured in. And a little bit darker for the back foot. Now, um, for the fins, I'll keep them this color, like the the spines, because it's like coming from the skin of the horse. Maybe, maybe a little bit darker for the ones in the distance. A little bit darker. Yeah. Like that. Alright. And there's one more there. Filling them all in, and we'll come out and we'll have a look. So she's mostly blue at the moment. So what I might do is go a little bit purple, perhaps. Yeah, like that. That looks quite nice. And darker for the background, back fins. Whoops, there's an open line somewhere. There it is. All fixed. There we go. Alright, now. There's also these pieces in here, which I'll quickly just come in. And add those. There's not too much in them, but still add those colours and it really makes a difference later. Like this. Alright. Okay, so I've just realised this part is part of that. And this part is the actual spine. There we go. Alright, now, as I was saying, we're mostly in blues, so just to complement it, and I guess make the horse look a little bit more dangerous, make a more ready yellow, orange, like a ready orange eye colour. Like that. And I'm also going to do a dark, put this piece in here. Purely because horses generally don't have white. Well, they do, but like you don't see the whites in their eyes. 
So doing this also makes them look a little bit more evil looking. And then I'll come up above, I'll merge the flats together. And then go on top of the lines, rename that back to flats. I only talk f English, I only know English. But hi there. Oops. Back to it. So above this one, we'll go shading, and I'm going to add to a chalk brush. And the first thing I'm going to do is the eye, because it's one of my favorite parts to play around with. So dark up at the top. And just a little bit of a ring of dark in there as well. And a tad of light in that bottom. And then white for the... Like that. Looking good. Alright, now I'm going to go into the hair. So with this one, there's going to be a lot more shininess I feel to it because the um the wetness so I'm gonna start off normally so like the darks in the top like this just you know pieces Like that. So just the bottom, the top and the bottoms of the hair. So the tips and the ends for the moment. All right, I'll have to do that one slightly different. Like that. It just helps with the shiny later, the shiny, which will be adding a little bit extra than normal hair. And just these top pieces. Oops. Uh, that bit like that. Alright, now once we've done that, I'm going to come in and go with a lighter of the colour. So the same colour, but just lighter. And maybe a tad toward the pink. And that just goes in between like there. Now just really basic for the moment, no, not too worrying about the blending, we'll come back to that once we've just applied it all. Struct it in. Specifically on the edges of where you've done that dark colour. Like that. And then once you've done that, go even lighter. And that's when you come in the middle and add a highlight. Like that. Now, because this is just our basic highlight for the moment, once we get go even lighter up the, the lightness, Go like this, just the basics for the moment. Oops. I'm going to add a bit more brightness to some of the pieces of the hair. Alright, 
so once it's done that, just this one, and then just some glistens, much like as if your hair was wet, you know, you'd have pieces of hair that glisten. And these pieces too would have a little bit of glisten to them, like that. And possibly on the edge some bits too, like this. Adding those extra highlights in just exaggerates that wet look. Like that. Especially if your light's coming from the top, you know, definitely watch your light source too. Alright, and then once we zoom out, that looks a tad odd at this time, but we'll come back in and just dab it out. Just blending the colours by mixing the already colours you have. Just making it look a bit softer. Another easy way to depict water is to just put water on top of it, like the white bubbles. Alright, which I'm going to have some of in there, actually, just to make it look. So I'm going to go straight white for the moment, and just put strings of it in here. So like just, and anything that's, you know, dripping down, potentially onto the body of the horse itself. Maybe just some single bubbles of water in the actual hair itself. Or even sea foam, you know. Anything could potentially be on the horse after it's been in the ocean. Like that. Now at this stage it's a bit bright to be just water, so... I'm going to lower this opacity, make another layer, and then put pure white highlights in those bubbles, like that. And there we go. Then I might add some darker shading to some of these pieces of the hair. Not toward that way, toward the blue. Just, just a few streaks. Like that. And I'll come in and quickly do this bit in here. Oops, darker. Same deal, start in the tips and the ends and then work your way up. Like that. And then we'll zoom out. Almost kind of look like there's snow on it though, to be honest, but that's all right. I haven't really had much experience in drawing water, but it's a good start, I feel. Now, for the body, I'm gonna go blue. Now I'm going to go again on the underneath, just because it's easier to do some of these darker pieces. Not much easier because of the way I've done over the lapping of the overlapping of the lines, but that's all right. Cause it's not that much needed at this stage, you know. Just highlighting the horse's shape. Mm. 
Now, I'm going to go a little bit darker than this in just a moment. Just follow those lines first. Oh, we forgot some hair down there, but that's alright. We'll come back to that. Basics and maybe some shadow in there like this. Alright, and then darken it up and go again. That's it. Just following all the parts of the hair for the moment. Like that. All right, now what I'm going to do is then zoom out and blend those colors in. Oops. Being careful of where we blend them. Like that. Really, just having some sort of soft brush and then the eyedropper tool is all you need to blend. You know, you just eyedrop the colours and then, like, in between. So, like, if you have a soft brush, there'll be a, a part on the very edge of the line that'll be the colour in between that colour. And that's what makes the blending so nice, is it just puts it all together. like that. Alright, so we've got our head almost done-ish. We've just got to do some highlights and just finish blending in here. Alright, so highlights will go toward the pink. Just on the top of the nose there. Doesn't need too much. Maybe on the leg and the knee. It's all good like that. I'm just blending that all in. Like that. And I forgot her ear, so I'm just going to fix that up too. Like that. Alright, I'll fix this before I move on. This will just be predominantly darker and maybe a tad light on the edge. like that. Alright, now we'll come down to this tail, this glorious sea tail. Actually, I'll do this look first. Oh, sorry about that. Alright, just quickly. Not much needs to be done on this back leg because it's just, you know, just behind everything. Not much focus on it, really. Alright. go and then with this tail I'm going to start by doing the shadows of the frills so toward this way which would just be where the bones meet and the body does like this just really scattery and rough for the moment Pretty much just blocking in the shapes of the shadows. And that's when we then come back and blend it all in. Alright. Come back up and just in the middle space, just change the colour when needed. Just, you know, 
dabbing it all in. Like that. Keep it flowing around. Especially these larger pieces. Like that. There we go. And then once you've done that, go back into this one and go toward the pinks and the colours and just add a bit on the ends there where the stretch part would be. And then blend it in. Like that. it nice and soft like that. Darkening these bits just like before. More dark than light just because they're on the other side. like that and then same with these tad tiny pieces in here just a bit of dark just to show you know they're just they're there and then we'll go into this body so we'll go darker first which will be along the bottom behind these parts because you know they'll be shadowing the other side of them and just a bit on the bottom here, like that. And then adding I'm going to blend this one a bit better. Yes. Oh. Adding a little bit of light as well. And the top. And then I think we're just about done. If not, we're done. Alright. Our little kelpie for the night. Yeah. As I said at the beginning, last stream of the week, I'll be back on Monday night at 10pm to do some more creatures. I'm not too sure which ones yet. Um, for this one, I'm also going to add some water just on the actual horse. You know, just some droplets, maybe some lines of water dripping down her because she's supposed to be in water so in reality she's going to have a bit of water on her I mean you know it doesn't have to be too much and then the highlight like so but yeah, um, I'll probably keep updated over the weekend of different things I'm doing and post all the creatures I've done this week on my social media sites, which are all linked below in the description. But yeah, that's all for tonight. Nice little Kelpie. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a, a lovely weekend and hope to see you all back on Monday. Yeah, enjoy.